Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and I wanted to make a uh, video for you guys basically telling you why I just suddenly stopped posting, and uh, maybe I'll make this a daily thing. Um, basically what happened was my computer stopped working again, and I know last time that happened I didn't post a single video for a pretty good time span, I guess. And uh, basically, I don't want to do that again, so even if I have to make like vlogs kind of like this I'll uh, I'll end up doing that I may uh, do some share factory stuff here and there though I don't care for that too much because the audio is kind of weird but uh, yeah I uh, basically wanted to make this video basically telling you guys that my computer stopped working again and I am trying my hardest to get it to work again so I'm gonna be uh, spending a lot of time on that and hopefully I can make one of these videos each day for you and, uh, you know, I didn't want to make this video just so you guys would know that. I want to kind of make it uh, a little bit informational, so I guess I could do some, like, news uh, segments and stuff. Now, uh, I have an app. It's called uh, Appy Gamer. I've talked about it plenty of times before. And basically, uh, I'm just going to scroll through and basically tell you guys some of the bigger news headlines that I have uh, actually saved on it. And, uh, you know, this is new stuff from, like, the past, like, two or three days, not, like, the past month and whatnot. So, uh, these are some bigger headlines, but they're not huge or anything. So, uh, yeah, I guess we go, like, get go ahead and get started. Excuse me. So, uh, there there's going to be a new Battlefield Hardline patch coming out, and it's going to fix the top five issues, and it's going to add the Rent-A-Server. Now, if you don't know what Rent-A-Server is, if you played Battlefield 3 or 4, um, you could uh, basically own your own server, have your own rules and stuff. This is really uh, amazing in Battlefield 3. And not, Battlefield 4, not as much. Not as many people actually rented their own servers. But Battlefield 3, that game was so successful with all the servers and stuff that uh, you know it, was, it worked out fantastic. And uh, there's also news that it's going to it's going to come to last-gen consoles as well, which was kind of expected because EA is a bit money-hungry, and if you can get more more money from the past-gen consoles and the current gen, uh, they're probably going to do it. If there's a way to make money, EA's probably already thought of it, and they're probably doing it. So uh, with that, it's going to fix the top five issues. Now, it doesn't say what those issues are. However, it does say that they are community issues and uh, stuff that everybody else has said that the game basically needs fixed. Um, if I had to guess, it'd probably be like spawning and stuff and like TDM and uh, you know stuff like that. Some of the guns may need uh, nerfed a bit like the M416, the M16, the MPX, P90, stuff like that. Um, so those guns are just <laughs> insane. Uh, moving on, uh, Madden NFL 16 has a, an official launch date now. It is August 25th. I'm actually going to open it up, see if there's any more uh, news within it. And uh, I, I believe it is coming to uh, all consoles, past gen and current. And uh, yeah, so definitely be looking forward to that. And if I had to guess, there could even be a, uh, a mobile version of it. I know that EA is trying to get more stuff on mobile. And I know they already have Madden game on mobile, but they may see the next app coming to mobile. And uh, moving on. This one's a bit funnier. Um, if you have played B Bloodborne or basically know what it is, it is a very hard and difficult game. And if you haven't beat it already, um, you might want to cover your ears. No, this isn't a spoil spoiler alert or anything. Um, the first person to uh, beat the game, or I guess it wasn't the very first person. Um, it, it is, but it isn't. Um, I'll go ahead and continue. But... Bloodborne has finally been beaten with a Guitar Hero controller. Now, if you don't know what Guitar Hero is, it's basically a big guitar. And, uh, you know, somebody has actually been able to get into or play Bloodborne and beat it successfully 100% uh, with a Guitar Hero con controller. And if you're somebody who's played it and hasn't beat it yet, you should be pretty annoyed because somebody else has been able to beat it with a actual guitar controller rather than your little handheld that you're uh, used to. So I thought that was pretty funny and I figured I might give you guys a laugh or two. And uh, moving on, Goat Simulator is coming to Xbox. It is coming to uh, Xbox One for sure and I believe it comes to Xbox 360 a little later. 
and it hasn't said that it's going to come to the PlayStation consoles yet. It may just be a, a, a timed thing for uh, Microsoft. It hasn't really been said, but uh, it has been revealed that it is going to the Xbox systems, so definitely be looking for those. Uh, moving on, Grand Theft Auto V has came out for PC, and uh, with this, you've seen a lot of modders and stuff on it. Um, there's actually, uh, you can use the Oculus with the uh, Grand Theft Auto. I don't know if you can actually use the Oculus Rift or if it's just one of the other VR headsets, but I do know that there's a VR headset that you can use, and there's also a, uh, I don't know, really know what to call it, like a virtual reality like treadmill that basically you can hook up to Grand Theft Auto, and you're pr pretty much the player. You get to walk in whatever direction you want, look, and uh, stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, some of the GTA 5 files have actually been uh, looked through and uh, basically accessed by uh, modders and it has been revealed that these are some of the stuff that might have been cut out of the game, might be brought in in the future. Um, stuff like horses. Horses uh, might have been in Grand Theft Auto at some point. And that's, that's kind of cool because it kind of, kind of uh, brings you back to, uh, like, Red Dead Redemption. And, you know, that's pretty much what that game revolved around is your only mode of transportation um, another thing is zombies now this would be pretty cool I could actually see them coming out and uh, kind of making a zombies like game mode or something like that I know uh, some people have kind of like modded the uh, missions on consoles and to have like CPU players um, usually like the zombie person um, you know it's, it's kind of like a zombies kind of thing but it isn't that person just looks like a zombie but they have like a baseball bat or something um, we'll just have to see where that's going but, you know, I thought it was really cool, and, uh, you know, if you guys ever get the chance, definitely look up some of these uh, things. If you guys don't have this app, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it is it is awesome. I absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure if there's any other uh, apps out there like it, but basically what this app is, it's called Appy Gamer, and, you know, I love it to death. Basically what it is, is you, you basically go in, you can save... Um, certain like categories and stuff like PS4 or Xbox One, PC, or you can save games, or you can just say uh, just give me news for multiplayer and stuff like that, and breaking news, all this other stuff, and uh, basically it goes through a whole bunch of different like gaming sources like IGN, Joystick, uh, Joysticks, but moving on, um, just a whole bunch of them around the web, and basically it combines them all into one and basically gives you all your news right here on your on your phone uh, whatever you use I use it on my phone but I've seen people who have had it on their tablets and stuff um, I don't believe there's an actual website that you can actually go to online I know I've tried like googling uh, at Gamer before and nothing really came up it just said download app or whatever but uh, yeah I just wanted to uh, make this video for you guys I hope I wasn't too boring or anything. Hope you guys aren't tired of looking at my face already. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll I'll post another video tomorrow. I'm going to try my best. But uh, yeah, hang around. I promise. I know I just hit 300 subscribers, so I also want to thank all of you for that. And uh, I have a uh, montage planned if I can ever get my computer up and running again. Um, I can hopefully get that put together and uh, posted for you guys. So hopefully. Uh, my computer's out, not out for too long. I've been trying to uh, fix it. And uh, if you guys saw my other video that talked about my computer coming back up and basically what the problem and stuff was, uh, basically I had set my computer to uh, like never sleep, never hibernate or anything like that, which is pretty bad for the computer. And you know it had been working great for probably about a week. And uh, yesterday I happened to uh, like wake up and look over at my computer and there's one of those windows updates going on and you know that's basically like a you're screwed moment for me and uh, basically what that did was once once those updates go through it restarts your computer and restarting your computer shuts it off and uh, basically uh, the problem with my computer is the computer will turn on itself but the monitor won't and you know that's pretty difficult when you're trying to do stuff with your computer if the monitor isn't working so uh, hopefully I can get that fixed, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have any more problems with that in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for this video today, guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.